guys, it's Dan back from Generation Productions, and the next movie we're going to do, the part of the three movie reviews, uh, we have um, Secret Life of Pets 2. So let's get into Secret Life of Pets 2. Just give me a second, people. this video. You can either subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch another video, or head over to our Patreon page to become a member now. What's up? So, yeah, people, um, that's The Secret Life of Pets, too. Uh, the music was done by uh, the Baha Men. Who let the dogs out? This was the uh, l last night uh, Baha Men rock rem remix type version of the theme. So, thank you a lot for the Baha Men. I hope you guys don't... Um, well, Our Night, Last Band, or uh, Bahamen. I hope you guys don't uh, sue me for borrowing your music uh, again. Um, but uh, great music, guys. Absolutely love it. Um, hope to see more great music from you guys, both Bahamen and uh, Our Last Night Band. You guys are good to go. Um, so, yeah. So, as I was just showing you guys, that's Secret Life of Pets 2. Now, Secret Life of Pets 2, I was kind of disappointed with to be honest uh, no offense to illumination you guys are absolutely brilliant and disney or whoever you guys are going through is reasonably brilliant uh, but the issue i have with secret life of pets 2 was quite simply um the fact they were going with two different stories at the same time now we have a story about this um so, spoiler alert to if you guys have not watched the movie, go watch the movie and then come back to this uh, review. So, more or less, this little bit of review is to deal with the um, idea of the two different stories that were going on in Secret Life of Pets 2, which I think was a really big take from the actual movie. Guys, if you never do one of these Secret Life of Pets 3 or something... Please stick to one story, not having two stories at the same time. It was very confusing. It was doing my head in. And I really didn't think it was actually that good in that respect. Two stories going on at the same time. Not really good chemistry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so, you could have made actually made two different movies about this. You could have made two movies out as one, okay? 
so back to the Secret Life of Pets 2. So we have the story where one of the dogs was um, getting a little bit upset about, you know, this, you know, that they finally, you know, the two dogs finally got this boy that, um, you know, basically ha- the, the, the owners had, had this child. And so they were teaching this kid all the different stuff, but this one dog was freaking out about this kid all the time. And so basically he would get like a, like an itchy, like a itchy, scratchy tick now and then. And so he was put, uh, basically, the, the, the owners put him in one of them head things to stop him from scratching and biting himself. And also, um, they decided to go out to a farm. So these two big dogs uh, go out to the farm. They meet, they meet another, uh, basically meet, meet a sheep dog out there who teaches them, yeah, you know, all the different stuff and how to just let let relax and let things slide and let things go and do and, and let, basically let live and live and let live sort of concept. Um, and so we have that story. Then we have back in the city we have a cat, a rabbit, and a few other animals going around trying to save a a tiger, uh, basically a white tiger. Uh, I think it's Bengal white tiger. I don't know. Some of you guys can leave in the comments below uh, what type of tiger it is. I think it's a white Bengal tiger um, that was actually put in a uh, like a circus performance. And so these other animals heard about this and then went to go rescue this big old uh, cat. Basically this big old tiger cat from being in this circus. And we have uh, wolf, this owner owns wolves and they go chase the uh, animals and all stuff through the sewers and all sorts of fun stuff. So, but to be honest, look people, seriously, the, this movie had, the, the, the biggest issue in this movie, A Secret Life of Pets 2, was quite simply put that, more or less, the biggest issue with it was the fact of, oh, Two stories going on at the same time. If they just left it alone and had one main story throughout the entire movie, it would have been fine. When they put the two stories together, it kind of felt like to me, like it was just too. It felt like one of those. Do you, you guys know that what those old Mad comics used to look like, where it's all jumbled and all slapped to bits, slapped together? That's what it felt like to me. It felt like a like a um, Mad comic. Uh, where everything is just going on all at once, and it's not, um, it, it, just, it just didn't feel right to me, but, um, again, so this is sort of a little bit of a negative review, but in a positive side, both, both storylines, I got a real strong storyline, but I really felt that you could either do with one or the other, you didn't need to have both in the same movie, you could have a, one, this one movie, um, Sick Life Pets 2 could have been a prequel and a sequel, or no, a prequel and the actual movie Secret of Life of Pets 2, like Secret of Life Pets, Secret of Life of Pets uh, 2 Part 1 and then Part 2. It would have been made sense to split them up and have two separate actual movies t- uh, t- tie in together. It would have made perfect sense to do it that way, but no, they didn't do it that way. So, so we're stuck with what we've got. Um, but yeah... Uh, that's all I can say about this movie. Thanks, thanks people for watching. Catch you all later. Bye, and thanks for watching. Bye.